Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Stellaris, where we are playing as the Ashen Collective. And right now we are slowly trickling our way out into space to spread our good news. However, we do have Soul that's sitting over here, and we have a very low intel level. And you can tell just from Soul is that we have Soul 3, Soul 2, Soul 1. Do any of these planets look familiar to you? Maybe they do. We'll see if we can get there. However, first thing we need to do is to go ahead get started here. We do have a few ships available. We have a construction ship that's sitting a little idle. We have one science ship that's over here and we have another science ship that is going on and exploring. So we do want to let our uh, different scientists, Ryblog and Glorim, go ahead and level up. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start running the speed here a little bit faster. Of course, we need to actually set our science ship to do something. So you're level 3. It's a level 2 anomaly. 22% risk failure. Let's go ahead and research it. We'll send you to do that. I think that's what's going to happen. Uh, let's go ahead and do it like this. There we go. One is going to get there. As for the construction ship, right now our income's okay, but we have a lot of resources that we kind of need to work on and work with here. So what planets do we want to do? We actually have some energy back here that we can go ahead and grab, which would be pretty nice. So let's go ahead and just queue up some things here. And uh, did I hit the wrong button? No, I didn't. All right. We just successfully unqueued ourselves, but if we don't have the cash on hand for it, there we go. Anything else that we're missing? Because energy, it's like two for one, but it does add up eventually. Uh, as for the Arctic world here on the surface, as we're going to be going fastest speed for a little bit, if we look at the surface, you can see that we have some tile blockers that are blocking a few research things. And we did just get another pop, and we do have a scientist with increased skills. So, Voltum Asteroid Mining Base, XR-7-757, has covered an impact crater from asteroid collisions. But one stands out, it appears to have been created through a detonation of some kind of any manner device. There is evidence elsewhere on the asteroid surface indicating that it was heavily mined by the Valtum at some point. Uh, roughly 12 million years ago, a large crater we found was presumably the location of the mining outpost. So we can do, we can go to the situation log here and we do have alpha, beta, gamma aliens, and we do have precursor here, asteroid base. We need science three skill or higher in orbit. I think we have all those requirements. Let's go ahead and, uh. I think he is going ahead and doing the special project, or he's not. One way or the other, let's see. It's a failure risk of 42. So strength from small places. Having uh, probed the frozen landscape of the planet Dirt 3, we think we have struck something big. Science officer Ryblog speaks of a bacterial life form unlike any other. It bonds with other individuals to create large blankets that are durable yet light and also acts like solar cells. They absorb high solar energy with a surprisingly low efficiency loss percentage. Most likely the result of evolution favoring the, those could gather more heat in the harsh climate. Our researchers back home could surely find this useful. We have some options. Send, our, send to our homeworld for study or send to our homeworld for study. So let's try and find an energy production instead of a military use. So our energy development researchers have made progress in the samples we sent to them. They have begun to develop a new type of solar cell using the organisms as a template. They are much more efficient at storing energy and provide a boost to all of our solar power or all of our power plants. So plus five percent energy we do have one other special project, I believe, maybe not. Uh, let's see, we do want to go ahead. I kinda wanna poke my head in and see what's around here, but I think we'll just go ahead and queue up some system surveys. That should work fine. Now the other thing we need to deal with here is that we have some things that are being built, some things that are being made, some research that's being done. I could build another construction ship, but if we look at our research as well, we do have a fleet order finished for building the mining station. We do have another science ship all the way over here. All right. I want to go ahead and get you surveying here. Let's just queue up some surveys. I love how fast the hyper the hyperdrive is. System survey. But then again, that's supposed to be that's supposed to be the advantage, isn't it? Now this is a choke point. But the encounter in Eric. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Eric system. These strange objects in the flag is Epsilon aliens. Until we learn more, we should use caution. 
Now, like I was saying before, if we look at our research, we are just hitting colony ship. So I am floating a bunch of minerals, and we do want to go ahead and build our first colony ship. So that's good timing. Yay. It uses people. Although we didn't really get to choose the people that we get to use, which is a little weird. Maybe they're all the same on there at this point. So this is going to be our first colony ship. Where are we going to colonize, first and foremost? Because I do want to build up my fleet as well. We do have research that we need to do as well. Oops. Naval capacity plus 10, orbital hydroponics farms if we need more food from Morbit. Um, farming subsidies for better hydroponics farms. I think I'll do the naval capacity. I think we're going to need to knock on this door in just a little bit. And if we look at the uh, what we've researched so far, I don't think we've gotten too much that's going to help us out. And, uh, yeah. We don't have too much that's going to help us out in war just yet. So construction ship over here. Anomaly found. All right, so another anomaly. 15% failure rate. The material composition of this asteroid differs significantly from its neighbors and uh, has a different origin than the other bodies in the asteroid belt and could potentially be used as a public something. So survey completed. There are surveys of habitable worlds. Our biologists have collected a vast amount of data in alien life forms. This is part of the fun of going at fastest setting. We get all these pop-ups and notices at the same time. But our most interesting findings are displayed in the newly dedicated Museum of Exobiology on Hythea. The public is enthralled, and many donations have come in old and continued to search for strange life forms, or aid in the search of life forms. So we gained a lot of society, and we gained some credits. Yay, that's all very good. So if we have our research right here, energy storage, uh, we don't have too much in the way of things that will really help us there. We do have a construction ship over here. We do have... We do have some research that can be done over here, so we'll get that at the solar base in just a minute. We do have this as our own space. So where can we actually build? First thing we want to do is not build on the uh, not build on habitable worlds. So if we go research station over here, and we don't have the cash on hand for a mining station. That'll change pretty soon, but the big thing is I need to start getting these research markers up, up, up in a System hurry. Survey complete. All right. Okay, so another pause notice. Fossils from what appears to be several pieces of aquatic animals have been found in the barren aerial surface of this asteroid. There are indications that surrounding asteroid belt was created from the remains of a shattered planet. And these findings seem to confirm that theory, judging by the fossils. The planet supported life and was at least partially covered by water. Oh, so sad. Right, let's send you to research this project because this one doesn't have a failure rate this one is just part of the sciencing as it were all right so we almost have our first colony ship we got to ask again where do, do we want to go i th don't think it's this planet that we want to go to although this is pretty good anomaly found. okay well, let's pause for another anomaly here uh we do have plenty of spaces on the surface and some decent landing sites so let's hear 15% failure rate anomaly level one uh, from spectrum eight or seven. By chance, we've stumbled upon a faint alien signal during the survey of the planet. The surface appears to be a small object in orbit. The signal contains no message. Could it be a distress transponder? Let's research it and see if we don't blow up our ship. So that's a pretty big planet. This area has a few more resources and it has two places where we can colonize. So 12, that's pretty small. But it does give us two of that, and then 13. So while we have one orbital station here, I think Ovni is going to be the better place to colonize first. I mean, we'll get some we'll get some research here on ourselves, and it's going to be a little dicey because there's a lot of tiles that are blocked. We'll probably want to land like right there, so we can get some adjacency bonuses eventually. But I want to take the bigger planet and contest this area before we get. Uh, other baddies in here. Speaking of which, we need to start uh, doing some more things with the spaceport. We're going to build some Corvettes. Right now, these are default Corvettes. There's not a lot to it. But we're going to need a bigger fleet, I think, in just a little bit. And we're still paused. It's like, why am I not getting any money? Oh, wait, we're paused. So there's another anomaly. He's researching it now. We'll find out in just a minute. Oh! Ancient life pod. An abandoned life pod was detected in close order of Spectrum 7. 
It is covered in scratch marks, presumably from when the pod's mothership exploded. Preliminary scans suggest it was built more than 5,000 years ago. The crew of the Wazalok managed to open the pod, revealing the weathered remains of a reptilian alien. Clad in a resplendent uniform, clutched in one of his claws was a small picture of another individual from the same race, possibly a mate or a revered leader. Aww, and we're losing money now. Which is exactly why we have the construction ship supposedly building for minerals. We need more minerals. Research complete. Okay, I guess we can go ahead and build mining station up here. Other things that we can do System include, because when we build some of these things, and okay, where else do we have hostile complete. fleet? And what is the fleet? Oh, that's a, that is pretty nasty. Okay, good thing we can go around there right now. So we'll remember, that place is right out. Now if we want to look one more time, we got a big, like, little star shattery aliens here. So we definitely don't want a piece of that. All right, so we do have the colony ship available. I think this is the right place to colonize. Let's go ahead and colonize here. And we'll put the drop ship down here. Hopefully we can get some uh, tile block clears pretty soon. And we'll send our scant navy over here as well. Because we do have our uh, frontier outpost already. And I guess we'd have border pushback if that was sovereign space. So we I guess the question is, do we have those things are in scan range now, so a close examination of the destroyed vaults and mining base has uncovered some of their abandoned mining equipment and the surviving tunnel. It was un uniquely designed for use with their worm like anatomy and appears to have been operated primarily through body vibrations they used to communicate. So we got some engineering research and we got first of the volts in here. All right. We got some scans going on. We have a few alien vessels that we know are here. Is it actually Soul that's sending some stuff out here and are we gonna have some issues with them in just a little bit? Now we do have one science ship that got kicked out of there. Research complete. So let's go. Oh. Well, that's all right. You got the other science ship over here. Because that was the one that I thought ran out. Alright, so first alien colony. We'll read this now. Our colony ship is gently touched down the snow fields of Schlug in Deep Valley near the equator. The landing site nestled within a large mountain chain and is well protected from the elements. The ship has been permanently converted into the administrative headquarters of the new settlement. Its reactor cores in the process being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up around the former starship's massive halls. Colonists begin to disembark in large numbers. The first ashen city on an alien world. Just think about that. You all just got uh, colonized. How fun is that? I'll give you a hint. We're actually going to be losing some substantial money here because we're going to lose 8 credits or 8 energy per month for 13 months. But if we look on the surface, here we are. We have this planet is in the process of being colonized. So we have more research available. Uh, point defense could be good. Deflectors are probably better. So let's do that first. And then defense platform, engineering facility, mining facility. Unlock spaceport 2. I like that. So we're going to be losing money for a minute here. Alright, so what can our construction ship do now? We've encountered with MERS. We've encountered some alien vessels in the MERS system. The strange objects have been flagged as Zeta aliens until we can learn more about them. Well, that's fun. Well, you know, space is a dangerous place. All right, so this science ship. So we're blocked off right there. Let's send you this way. Construction ship over here. We can't build all the things we want to. And we don't have to build everything right now. But I would like a research station. Evading hostile fleet. And I'd like to get more minerals here. Alright, so who's getting hostile fleeted now? Alright, so that's a hostile fleet. So this is all hostile areas. Which, what that means is that we can start sending our uh, military around just to see what's up with that. In fact, what we probably should do is go ahead and send you guys back here. 
or over here. We'll merge these fleets in just a minute. So this colonization is almost done. You can see our money being a bit more of a positive now. More research completed, Doctrine Space Combat. That will add up later. And Monthly Influence plus one is okay for planetary unification. We're kind of okay on fleet power and influence right now, considering we haven't met really anybody yet. So we'll do leader lifespan and increase food. Our, our planets are a little food starved here. Back to Hythea though. Is there any extra buildings that we can build to try and pump out some more goodies from us? We have a power plant, we have a power plant. We have another biodome. We could build a science lab. All right, so our planet's about to be fully colonized. So no governor. What's on the surface right now? Just one, and we got two food. So it's going to take some time to grow. Anomaly found. All right, second anomaly, and we have a 20% failure rate. Let's do it anyway. Scanning star reveals a small object in rapid orbit, small size and high velocity, make it difficult for sensors to find. All right, anything else we want to build here? like to build another research station that's going to go into our econ a little bit. So like I said, it's not huge on me to necessarily... Let's go ahead and do this. We can go move you all here, move you all here. Get you all just met up so we can merge you. I think I'm going to need to do some clean, some house cleaning for some of these systems in just a little bit, which is fine. Like I said, if we look around at like the alien ships here... It's just a f there's a lot of wandering aliens and wandering encounters. Like that one we know is too strong. Oh, the probability conundrum. We have gotten a report of science officer Ryblog. It seems that a ceramic container is circling star Beta Alclair. Most peculiar, it should obviously not be there yet. Somehow it's managed to find its way into close orbit. A special project was issued to investigate the container and try to deduce how it ended up there. So a conundrum worth investigating or a sign of something divine. Well, we're not going to do just the influence gained because we still want the special project. Improbable ceramics. All right. Let's go ahead and research. Let's go ahead and research that now. All right. Merge fleets. Our fleet is tiny, but it'll grow in time. In fact, we're just going to build a few more Corvettes. Right now, we don't have a lot of upgrades, so we have a transmission from the Mentel. We, uh, we are receiving a transmission. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Diplomatic channels are now open. All hostility between us have ceased for the moment. So, our first contact with the Holy Orthy Kingdom. Their stance looks a little familiar. Well met! I represent the Holy or uh, Otherthy Kingdom, led by the illustrious Archprophet Zir I. We rule our region of space under a divine mandate, and so long as you don't interfere in our spiritual affairs, our relations may remain cordial. So we greet you as one, or we share the same divine heritage. I'm just going to do we greet you as one. So first daily encounter, the news that we have encountered in Tilly's alien life. The first time it has been received with mixed feelings by our populace. This confirms what we have long suspected we are not alone in the galaxy. Each new alien species we encounter represents both an opportunity and a threat. We must be wary. These peculiar Xenos have a level of technology similar to our own, indicating that they have achieved spaceflight at roughly the same time, which is all very fascinating. And uh, we were forced to return due to being in a new outer space. Alright, so we're... they are not too far away. And right now they only have one planet. Alright, more situation logs. See, once, once we start getting things moving, we have a lot of little things to read here. Uh, before we developed a faster and light travel, several sublight exploration probes were dispatched from Hytha at near relativistic speeds towards nearby systems. The scientists who developed the probes naively included sensitive information about our culture in the memory cores as a form of greeting alien civilizations. It has now been realized that this data could potentially be used against us. We need to track down these probes before they are found by someone or something unsympathetic to our species. So, sublight exploration probes. What do we do for this? Research complete. Okay, let's pause. The sensor sleep of the uh, Wagalash has revealed one of our sublight probes in the Dutch system. It seems to have been altered somehow. Modifications of alien origin have been attached to its hull. 
Probe's energy signature is greater than it should be. We are receiving a transmission on screen. No video feed. Shh, are you the makers? Wow. This is great. How should we respond? Yes, we made you or no. What are you? So we can say... Modified probe changes hostility to hostile or changes it to hostile. Yes, we made you. Then you shall die. Oh, this is awesome. What just... Why? Why are you going to kill me? So, modified probe. Well, we get to kill something now. Okay, fleet. Let's get it. And obviously, we're going to turn down the... Uh, speed here for this in a minute. We have more research that we can do too, so engaging hostiles. You can even go slow. Alright. So here's our space buddies. Going against this one probe. We're spreading out. We got... Wow, that's a very fascinating... Very fascinating lasers and missiles and everything. All right, so birth of space piracy, a large group of faithless criminals from Aitha have illegally converted a number of civilian starships into weapons of war. Operating on the fringes of our space, these heretics have started calling themselves Blood Companions. Oh, how sweet. And are responsible for several attacks against shipping lanes. The faithful shall prevail. So here's part of it. What do we got? We got hostile fleets present. We got engineering research that's needed. We can do fusion missiles. I kind of prefer that. Can do our fleet combat menu this just lets you know all kinds of things in terms of what damage has been taken we have one ship that's actually getting hit pretty well we should be able to uh, see it's able to close distance really well but we can't control any of this so everyone's oh no we may lose our first corvette the yudsh nope barely so little remains of the strange alien modifications are missing sublight probe and subject too but we did manage to collect some valuable engineering data from the wreckage this Mary Bank was also salvaged, and from we have extracted survey data of the entire system. So, wow, that's a lot of engineering research. Alright, you guys need repairs. So we'll get that, and we can speed this up in just a minute. I guess the question is, uh, we have Blood Companions here too. And they are... Uh, they're just kind of roaming around, so we got to build. That's a pirate fleet and another pirate fleet. All right, so we've got to build up our military a bit, which is okay. We knew this day was coming. We just got to hope for this to go a little bit faster. So, if, unfortunately, they have one military station in the system. So, unfortunately, we got to build up and get our resources together ahead of time. So, Corvette, we should be able to get another one here in time. We can't have fleets that are too big, but I think about 200 should do it. And then we can clean up some of the stuff. So we're getting 17 minerals right now, which is great. We have a science ship that's actually not doing anything, so let's fix that. Because you got kicked. Oh no. Oh, did you colonize Seoul? I think they did. Do we have our first enemies? We didn't even look at the Empire screen here. So, this is the, uh, we have Fragmented Nations, and we have this kingdom with a divine mandate. Their opinion of us, uh, we have Border Friction, we're New Contact, we're Repugnant, we're Wise Spiritualist, they're unfriendly but equivalent. So, I think we need to work on building up our military. I would almost rather just take these guys out now. I really wanted to get to this, to this area. So, we have some alien vessels. We got a lot of cleaning up we gotta do. But we do know a few things. So we have a squadron that's been fully repaired. All right, so first and second. Merge. Merge, please. There we go. Uh, 226. Is that going to be enough? I think it's going to have to be for now. All right, what else can we build? Anything here just yet? We don't need spaceports yet. Uh, we are gonna we do have some stuff on the surface, so we don't need to build a food source yet uh, We could always build uh, Corvette assembly yards. There's some other things that are worth researching that are gonna be good for later Construction complete. All right Research complete. So here is our one fleet it is in orbit 
And we got more research done. Physics research, solar panel network, that's good. Uh, survey speed is all right. Colony development speed's okay. We'll do this. Uh, what else do we got for science? That's right, I was so shocked and appalled by you all uh, just overtaking space. So survey this system. You're still surveying. We don't need you to really build anything just yet. Although if we want to take on Seoul, I guess part of it is that uh, they probably built like a defense base there. But yeah, that's a lot of border friction. And because we're hyperlane, we are kind of stuck. We got to try and see if we can move down here so we got to clean up. But at least we have two planets. So once this other Corvette is done, Construction that's not what we wanted. So, have detected a massive subspace anomaly in the Alcor system it appears to be centered on one of our missing sublight probes. We must proceed with caution. So this is if in the Alcor system. Alright. That's really big. Well, where do we want to start? We got space pirates over here. Let's do that. So we're gonna be doing some system cleanup today, it looks like. Let's go ahead and uh we'll start with these guys and then we'll finish up. Because we're about time for this video. Normal speed. They're coming for us. That's fine. Get away from your defense base. So there is their fleet. We have the tender, the broad, and everything else. So just missiles for everyone. Four ships versus more than four ships. All the missiles. And they actually have a... Uh, fleet leader and we don't. We should probably fix that here. Let's go to leaders. You can watch the fight here while we're also going to recruit an admiral. Uh, what do we got here? Ship hull points plus 20. Evasion uh, leader lifespan. I think hull points. But fleet can't use emergency FTL. No, we need the emergency here. Alright. So we got this one as well. So you're done. I think. So yeah, a little bit of cleanup there. We got, uh, we definitely need you guys to take out this military base. We got another science ship up here who's just blocked off from really doing a bunch of anything right now. See if we can get you to survey this system. Because once we get our military in place, we can kind of take some of these other things out. But it looks like we got a few vessels here that we can take on. And uh, unfortunately, it's really unfortunate we didn't get to Seoul early. I guess we'll have to uh, get something else here. So here's fleet combat with uh, this. Wow, we took uh, quite a bit of damage. We have no leader. We can't actually put the leader in to this fleet right now while we're engaged in combat. So we may lose some ships, but at least we can take out the military set down on a rock base. And we know they want point defense systems. So all the missiles are flying, everyone's having a grand old time. We may or may not lose one ship. Here's Fleet Com Time Project, we know. Okay, apparently I clicked that off too. So we lost our first ship. Sad face. But yeah, pretty much that's going to do it for this one. This is Asher doing the Ashen Collective, and so far we thought exploring space would be easy, and it turns out it is not so easy, although I'm glad we expanded the way that we originally did, because we are going to face some challenges in the days to come. But let's go ahead and build a few more little ships. We want to just get a few of these every every chance we get until we get to the, uh, until we max out our build here, so... We'll, we'll finish with this special project. After almost giving up hope setting the accursed ceramic object for so long, we have reached a breakthrough. The container is a sacred relic left in orbit as a sign, surely from the divine. The object is bring with energy, which is decrypted, reveals a hidden message. Information on how to help us ascend by improving our research efforts. The only question is who sent the message. So thank the powers that be. Extra dimensional insights modifier adds 60 months, giving the following effects. Research speed plus 15. Seems really good. And we get Kappa aliens, and I think we're going to call this an episode here. Uh, strange objects are Kappas, and let's just pause it here. Because we're going to have continue to have pop-ups and pop-ups. So that's it for now. Here's the space situation as it is right now. We only have one neighbor, and since they do kind of block our way to one area, they're obviously not using hyperlanes like we are. We're going to have some interesting challenges, but here's the whole galaxy one more time. We are just 
and a little part of it. But thanks for watching. We definitely got some cleanup to do to help continue our exploration and hopefully find some other colonizable planets. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Asher, and I'll see you again next time with more Stellaris. Take care.